Hey nerds, welcome to your Market Garden Minute for the week. Uh, all right, so priming seeds, what gives? Seed priming is a well-studied and proven technique for increasing germination rates and in some cases, stress or drought tolerance among a variety of different crops. The crops included in that are corn, wheat, and other grasses, spinach and its little family of beets and Swiss chard, beans, peas, and other legumes, uh, and the cucurbits like squash, cucumbers, and squash cumbers. Did I make that last one up? Like dream it? There are of course uh, other seeds that can benefit from priming, but those are the primary primers. The seeds you should not prime generally are crops like brassicas, so radishes, cauliflower, and so on, as well as carrots, lettuce, and all the onion slash allium family. Essentially any seeds that shouldn't dry out after they are moistened, do not try seed priming with those. The big one that we prime sometimes is spinach. Germination for that crop, especially in the summer, can be tough. So how does seed priming work? Essentially, you soak the seed overnight, then lay it out to dry for another day or so until it's relatively easy to handle. You do not want it to get so dry that it's no longer viable, but you want it to be dry enough to put in a cedar or easily handle without it sticking to your hands. As an example in this clip you're seeing here, the beets and the spinach that were primed germinated two days before the others, and they seem to be growing faster as well. What you soak your seeds in can range from just distilled or filtered water to compost extracts or very well filtered compost teas so as not to make a mucky mess. Uh, I do generally recommend inoculating with microbes at transplant stage instead of spraying in the field because it's way more efficient. But seed priming is a really great way to get the microbes on the plant before it even becomes a plant. Conventional growers will soak seeds in various nutrients or chemicals that the seeds rely heavily on, such as phosphorus or whatever. Um, whatever you do soak them in is your business, but just know that if you're sort of certified windy, just know that if you're certified organic to only use NOP compliant stuff. Also, although I found some claims that prime seeds can last a year or more after priming, seriously, the internet needs to just chill sometimes. Most of the scientific literature I can find that has studied shelf life of prime seeds shows that unless kept in absolutely ideal conditions, and sometimes even then, prime seeds will not store as well as unprimed seeds. Six months is about the limit that you want to push it with most prime seeds, but of course there will be some exceptions in both directions. Uh, the benefits, in other words, will be lost or the seed will actually be damaged if it's stored for too long or not in the right conditions. My suggestion, just to be on the safe side, only prime the seed within the month you plan to use it and dry it very well and store it in a cool, very dry place. Also maybe watch this Market Garden Minute I did for more help on your seed storage. Otherwise, maybe give seed priming a shot and let us know how it goes for you. This video was brought to you by you, our patrons at patreon.com slash no-till growers. So please sign up to support more videos like it, buy some merch or a hat, got hats, or the Living Soil Handbook over at notillgrowers.com. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe or follow if you're awesome, and we'll see you later. Bye.